Yes, sir. What's going on, guys? I'm sure you all are having a great time as usual. You welcome to that lovely, lovely recap of everything that happened in the past week. It's the weekly wrap up on Crunch TV. All right. So this week we begin with the biggest story from last week from the home front. Just cause she's our girl, my girl too. You know she got married over the weekend. A highly anticipated uh, ceremony, if you ask me. All right. Now everybody in the game i'm talking everybody in the industry was right there to grace the occasion i even hear nigerian american rapper wale was in the country all right uh shouts out to Biscuit, with dominic our girl took him and the very controversial olu muffin brothers remember those guys who got in some crazy twitter altercation with two's colleague bimmy but it's all good uh here it was fun uh, pictures everywhere even my boy sauce and the beat was right there all right uh big congratulations to you tools we wish you and tunde the best life ever and away from my girl too something else that happened earlier this week that had the whole social media going up on fire kaya west controversial kaya west yo uh if you ask me the word controversial should be spelled with a k just because of kanye uh kanye and wiz khalifa of all people i uh, got into another twitter altercation when kanye apparently misunderstood wiz khalifa's tweet uh when he used the acronym kk and he thought he was referring to his wife Kim Kardashian. Uh, it's no longer news that Kanye is obsessed with Kim and he gets really, really touchy and all up in his emotions when you drag Kim into anything. Uh, so they went back and forth and the exes and the hoes, if you like to call them, even came into the picture. I'm talking Black China and Amber Rose. Uh, but Amber came for Kanye real good and it looks like Kanye has calmed down and somehow maybe he even apologized uh, saying he'll never talk about stuff like this again. Uh, Kanye, you just have to go easy and focus on the album man everybody's waiting on the album uh, in other related news it might interest you to know that Kanye has switched the name of the album from Swiss <laughs> to Waves or Wavy uh? that's even what cuts the fight in the first place crazy uh? anyways can't wait for the album to drop uh, it already features singles I uh, like facts and real friends featuring Ty Dolla Sign, uh, and of course no more parties in LA featuring Kendrick Lamar uh, so we can't wait for the full body of work Big ups, Kanye. Also within the week, my girl Rihanna Riri. Uh, a super hot, sexy thing. Ooh, she be making me have dreams all night, baby. Uh, Rihanna has effectively proven uh, that her anticipated album, Anti, was definitely worth the wait, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, Rihanna finally dropped that Anti album, and it's already been certified platinum. According to the Recording Industry Association of America, that's the RIAA, Rihanna's Anti album was downloaded over a million times in just 14 hours. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, so, shouts out to Rihanna. Uh, the RIAA has certified you platinum. And of course, the Beijing Beauty was quick to share her gratitude. I went ahead to tweet, Thank you, Navy. Anti is platinum. Uh, trust me, I've been waiting for this album myself. Uh, the lead single featuring Drake called Work. Lord, uh, makes me want to put in a lot of work if you know what I'm talking about, man. Uh, shouts out to Riri. You know I love you. And it looks like Mick and Drake just keep going back and forth, man. 2016 already proven to be the year of beef. And trust me, it looks like nobody's slowing down anytime soon. Mick Mill has dropped another song and it's the part two of the four over four project. And this features future Dave East and Omelie, all right? So Mick Mill has taken shots at Drake again in a new track. Woo, I don't even know how this feels, man. Especially considering the fact that Drake already did a collaborative project with Future. I don't know what Mick Mill's trying to achieve, but I hear that Mick checked into a hotel with Nicki Minaj <laughs> in Toronto, Canada, and Drake also went to check in the same hotel on a room just above there. It's like, yo, man, come up if you want some. Of course, if Mick had tried anything funny, uh, he would have gotten himself deported anyways. Uh, but then uh, Drake was quick to do a comeback as well, man. Highly anticipated to play the track uh, Summer 16 uh, also out and Drake had that fire uh, one line that I really 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 loved uh, where he said I could have got signed on to Rockefeller but I turned into Jay now I have a big house in LA and my swimming pool bigger than Ye or something I don't know man you know shouts out to Drake man this is just keeping it real and 100 right now all right and down here in Nigeria, let's check out some of the new music trending right now, straight out of the country. My boy, Two-Face, legendary Two-Face, 
uh, back again on the scene with a new track featuring Fino. Uh, y'all should go check that one out. All right. Uh, Fino also featured on another track, uh, this time by my girl Eva. Uh, my dark, hot, sexy chocolate, Eva Loja, uh, featuring Fino and Reminis with Kanayo as banging. Uh, also, my girl Splash featuring Vector. Uh, with I Gigi. That's a new track y'all should go check out. Uh, it's also pretty, pretty amazing. Ah, Victoria Kimani. Very sexy Victoria Kimani. Uh, has a new track featuring Kuli Chana. Uh, it's called All The Way. Uh, y'all should go cop that one. It's also very, very lovely. Uh, what else is hot for you to listen to? Mm, log on to crunchtv.com and you're going to find out more info. Stay on the crunch side of life. Y'all be good. Until next week when we catch you, stay out of trouble.